How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews back with more unboxing. It is the season of beer mails. Um, I've never gotten beer mails like this before in my life. I'm lucky enough to get my decent amount of beer mails from whether it be brewers, which I don't really post any of those on the channel, um, to actually viewers alike. We have another one. Another one. I think I had like, oh, this is maybe the fourth or fifth of viewer mail I've gotten over the past couple weeks. I have like three or four more coming in the mail right now. But this one would be, I believe, the fourth, count them four, beer mails from the same person in about the same period of time. About one month, about four weeks. That'd be Carson from Florida. You got that sweet, freshly box that he's known to use from time to time. And I have no idea what's in here. The dude just keeps sending me beer mails. He should probably get his head checked. And, uh, but just, you know, keep sending me beer mills, obviously, but dude, I haven't, actually, I don't even know what to say. I can just talk over the box like this so you guys can't actually see me. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's crazy. The best thing that could be in this, uh, beer mail besides beer would be, um, I don't know, a letter, which hopefully that's in here. And maybe, just maybe he eventually received his missing box from Colorado. I'm not holding out high hopes on that one. I'm just going to crack into a sucker and see what this beholds. We're going to have the sweet note time. Got to love the sweet note time. Let's actually just slide this off to the side for now. We'll go over a little bit of note skis. Push it over there. There we go. Anyway, Matt with one T. It says, an old favorite you've reviewed, but first release of this one since then. Enjoy. Uh, Hazy Clab for your proclaimed two best Florida hazy breweries. Double IPA uh, session, uh, it looks like session pale ale. Um, new bottles, my first foray into mystery beers. Say what, son? Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm not going to read the rest of it because you might give away a little bit of hints and bits and pieces and stuff like that. So yeah, I love the upcycling of the paper. You can see. He was printing something out, and it's now unusable. But he used the paper again, just like a very, very astute and, and environmentally awesome human being that he is. So here we go. I actually don't know if he is or not, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mystery beer, baby. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Oh, let's see. Cans and cans and bottles and bottles. Uh, let's see. Okay. Shit, fine. Oh, more mystery beers. Oh, I love it when I get the mystery beers. I needed them so bad, too. After this kind of bunch of mystery beer bottles, man. That is my favorite kind of mystery beers, the bottles. I should show you the pile of fucking cardboard I have over here. It is disgusting. My wife probably hates me more than she usually does. She doesn't hate me. She loves me. That's just fun. I had to do that real quick. Anyway, so what do we have? We have one, two three. Actually, let's take these out. I don't want to take them out. I know you guys don't really care about the unboxing of the mystery beers, but I gotta take them out anyway, so you guys gotta sit. You gotta sit and watch me do this. Two, and I want to showcase his fantastic mystery beer jobber, especially on this sucker right there, because that is just... I just love it. I mean, it's the classic paper towel uh, with... It's masking tape, but it's still painter's tape. It's just not blue. But look at this one. This one is just shrouded to all hell. Now, there's like a little bit of like, I don't know if that's wax. I don't know what the hell that is up there. So I'm assuming this is like a full print bottle he's trying to hide more of. Oh no, this one has it too. He's really going out of his way here. Anyway, mystery beers abound. Thank you very much, brother. That is super cool of you. Now let's dive into the regular beers. I believe this is the one he said one I've had before, which would be living in the dream sickle. Uh, it's one of the first um, lactose based southern swells that i've had from them and i enjoyed it quite a bit so it'll be fun to dive back into it this one looks pretty damn cool I like the artwork on this one already it says freshly prick picked citra this is a 6.7 percent alcohol by volume doing in style ipa yeah their artwork keeps evolving subtly um and i kind of dig it the way it's kind of moving along let's see we have here squeegee vikings double india pale ale Okay, so this is Southern Souls. This is what he was talking about as far as double IPA um, uh, a collab uh, from Calusa and Southern Souls. Calusa is one of my favorite breweries. I don't... Was, did you send me Calusa? I forget who originally sent me a Calusa, whether it was Carson, Ralph. Um, a couple of people were sending beers from Florida at the time. I actually confused that. And then we have Extra Comfy Jeans. Did I do this one already, too? Hmm. Let's see, an old favorite, a Hazy Collab. A double IPA version of a pale ale. Um, 
Yeah, double IPA. Maybe that is this one um, because this looks very familiar as far as a beer I've had before. Maybe it's ex or is this extra comfy jeans? I think I've had comfy jeans. There you go. That kind of makes sense. And then two bottles. One, a little bit of Reeve. I know it's Rev, but I like to say Reeve because this is they're down the rabbit hole. This is a barrel aged, uh, will it barrel aged uh, Imperial Stout. Uh, 11 29 19 it looks like it was bottled and it looks exactly like the other ones that I had from these guys and those awesome kind of bottle shapes and last but not least have a little bit of southern swells this be their slice blueberry cobbler the last one I had of these I haven't posted it yet that's how fast these beer mails are coming from Carson is that it was the uh, I think it was strawberry cheesecake I believe it was the one I had and uh, spoiler alert I kind of liked it so yeah I'll have to get these up as fast as I can. I mean, it's kind of a catch-22. Beer mails are awesome, but then when you get a lot of beer mails, a lot of beer to review, which does not suck, but it's a little, it just can't post them all at the same time. It just doesn't make sense to do it that way. So, um, yeah, more complaining about me drinking a bunch of beer. Regardless, let's shut that out and just say thank you very much, Carson. Super cool of you. I'm going to enjoy the living poop out of all these, digging on the mystery beer, especially the ghetto wrapping bottles. It's Christmas time. What am I going to say? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy, enjoyed me watching and reviewing all these beers. Uh, hopefully you enjoy all the beer mails that have come and will come in the future. Hopefully you enjoy the mystery beers. Send them if you want me to do mystery beers. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.